So part two, we, we kind of opened up a little bit and we uh, talked about, you know, infinite possibility and, and infinite existence or infinite awareness. Now, a lot of people, we, we can't get, we can't open ourselves up to infinite possibility or infinite awareness. We just can't do it because why we can't do it is because we're so programmed to think. We're programmed to think within this um we're programmed to think within a frequency which is limited to that potentiality or that that frequency. A lot of us, we're perceiving reality from a certain frequency that we can't trust in something greater than that frequency because we can't ultimately connect to it. We can't open our minds to it. And that's why we don't like to think infinite possibility. What is infinite possibility? infinite imagination infinite awareness what are these what are these states of existence so we can't release ourselves from our minds because our minds are so focused on rational thinking like what is what is rational what is logic but logic and rational thinking is only one sense of 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 awareness or more so, one's rationality is only one sense of experience. So, the experience of which we're taking place within, or the experience of which we are perceiving reality um, by, will generate a sense of um, awareness. And this awareness uh, can ultimately have that awareness, that, that experience which that existence is having. Now, what is very crucial to comprehend is that we must identify that the reality which we're living in is perceiving itself. We are perceiving reality as reflections of, of this, you could, you could say, infinite possibility. So this is why we most importantly must be all respecting each other. It's because we're all the same existence, just taking different forms of experience. Now, this might seem a bit out there for a lot of people, but what's so important to understand is that our foundations, the foundations of our existence is love. Now, this love is the foundation. What we build or what we experience will only act as the experience within this lifetime. The base, the foundation, love, will experience many things in this reality. And we will experience all types of of experiences. When we leave this reality, we will come back to our base, which is love. So everything which we experience within this reality, we will be able to honour as an experience will be able to honor as an experience. Therefore, when we leave this reality and we we honor this reality as an experience, what we will gain is wisdom. The reason why we'll gain wisdom is because we'll be able to take that experience and comprehend it from a frequency of divinity. We'll be able to look at multiple different um, aspects of 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 existence and we'll be able to ultimately take this human experience which we're experiencing in this moment as a lesson to be learned within um the quantum physics of the of 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 you could say existence now what's important to to understand is reality which we know it at least this reality which we're experiencing is a vibration and the true vibration of our nature is much greater than this vibration we have chosen or we have come here to learn to learn aspects of this reality to ultimately you could say for many of us we're all taking form in different ways or we're taking form in different experiences to learn something to bring something and this is you could say really this is a a place of learning this reality is a place of learning 
And that is very much why we go through a education system which creates the challenge. We'll go to wrap this into a part three.